watch her go through the REM cycles, you know. It's, uh-huh. so, it, it, it's, it's amazing to see when she's watching TV and she's laying there, it looks like she's sleeping, not sleeping. The whole thing comes on on the, on the proper frequencies. You can see her go through the, the REM cycles. And it's so you can see it works. It, it's amazing. So that's my story. <laughs> But, oh. That's, I mean, okay. So now you can see why I'm happy most of the time. Besides the fact that 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 I I know who I belong to in this crazy world. I know I know the lighthouse. But besides that, I get to listen to stories like that every day. At least ten at eight, ten in the morning. At least they start coming in from all over the place, and I get to read about this music that that God had me create to help people and 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 hear their stories. It's mind boggling. It really, really is. Yeah, your 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 music is in. You said eighty some countries. I mean, it, it's all eighty four nations 84. is what they told me at the publishing company. I, <sighs> I trust them. Okay. Well, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And you're, you're, when you get paid in euros and stuff, so, yeah. But uh, I'm, I'm, yeah. Um, what's mm-hmm. the greatest uh, from outside? Do you have any anything to share, like from other countries or anything? I'm just curious because. Music is like the is the universal language, obviously. Um, it it is. I, usually, I have um, I, usually I have a whole bunch of them. Let me see if I've got anything because this is as usual. Yeah, I do. It, it's so funny. I I love doing uh, shows with you guys because it's impromptu, but it's always like bomb. So, okay, hold on. <laughs> I do. I got some here. This see, is awesome. And you can, the folks, you can tell this is not scripted, and, and you can tell I'm genuinely genuinely excited because. And I'll, I'll throw this one, this other thing into. Um, we, 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 of course, my wife takes uh, supplements through Health Masters. And you know Ted Brower. In fact, he's coming on this weekend or this uh, this, this Friday, and he's got a show on Global Star Radio Network. And uh, she has trouble sleeping at night. She does not like television or anything on in the bedroom except for whole tones. And uh, uh, so she's she's experienced very positive results from this as well. You know, and and again. When you go through a week without proper sleep, you get a little cranky. Ain't good for the marriage, especially at tax time. So anyway, uh, so Whole Tones, go to WholeTonesLive dot com and take advantage of the ten dollar uh, the dollar coupon. Sorry, I, I went here's a it. couple quick ones. Sure. Um, my son tried to commit suicide two weeks ago. He suffers greatly from depression and alcohol addiction. I was paralyzed with fear. I gave this suffering to the Lord. My son and I listen to whole tones, and he has totally switched from despair to positivity. I have not seen this in him before. Thank you, God. Um, let's see. I can really breathe. What is this music? I can't stop breathing deeply. I'm not stressed out. Then I started laughing. On the second one, I started yawning uncontrollably. My husband wept during the first one. Neither of us was told to expect anything. This is the most wonderful and amazing sound of God I have ever experienced. Not even sure what has happened or is still happening on the inside of me, but I do know there is good coming from it. Negative thoughts and sadness, depression are leaving. Anger is leaving. Rest is coming it's all day long and when i sleep for the very first time when i heard this music for the first time i wanted to listen to them all so i did laugh out loud i want to share these with so many that i know that are sick and suffering physically or emotionally god's hand is truly in this and upon this thank you michael terrell and others with him that have put this together for turning to god and trusting him for this for your heart for those that have never heard these healing sounds and who need them desperately for making the unrighteous decision of others to take these sounds from those who can benefit from them and bring them out of darkness and back into the light for your searching God and what he wants you to do and your obedience to do it. You have been faithful, and I believe it's just the beginning. I believe that this is just another reason why God purposed you in this life. God bless you and all your families. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And there's hundreds of these, and they're from all around the world. One quick one here. Um, Michael, I wanted to tell you, Netherlands. Michael, I wanted to tell you that the whole tones has saved my life many times over. I am living with, this is what I, where I was going from there, so I, once again. <laughs> I'm living with PTSD. And suicide never leaves my mind for very long. In my book, Pure Hell, But I Made It Through, I talk about the spiral that I go through. Whole Tones has helped me to lessen the effects of this, and I thank you so much. God bless you, my brother. And that was when you were talking about law enforcement. One of the biggest um, 
inroads we've had are with our soldiers that come back from long duties in Iran and uh, Afghanistan that come back with either TBIs or PTSD. And the testimonies that have been coming in from the different uh, military installations, a couple of just absolute giant ones from Fort Fort Drum not long ago, one guy that uh, had been completely unresponsive for 11 months and um, his wife contacted me and asked if I would send her a copy of whole tones. So I said, yeah. And, um, long story short, she started playing it every night. She said one, one night at three o'clock in the morning, Corey, uh, came into the bedroom and started holding her and hugging her and said, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love my children. Went and hugged the children. And, uh, this is kind of emotional. I said, I'll try to get through it. So anyway, she said, he's coming around listening to this music. And so I went to the church to speak and, uh, saw Mrs. Freddie and she said, well, don't, don't you want to meet him? And I was like, yeah, she goes, he's greeting today. And I walked in and the soldier hugged me, like squeezing the life out of me. It was him. And at that point he was 80% back and now he's a hundred percent back and working. He's got a new job. And, um, so people wonder why I'm excited about what I do is because I see real life people's lives changing. I, I mean, who would have, I mean, again, who would have thought? Who would have thought a billionaire would be sitting in the Oval Office tonight? Who would have thought that God could use some long-haired musician bozo to put out music that changed people's lives? Who would have thought? I know. I know. And, and, uh, <laughs> you, you know, you did mention something earlier. Um, I do have it on authority, and I can say this. Uh, this came up about, oh, I don't know, about a week ago. And the inner circle of the man sitting in the seat of power. Yeah, there's some whole tones going on around that camp. I'll just say that. <laughs> so you're right. I think it's just a matter of time. Like I, like I was really, I'm, I just love how you guys, I, I love you guys. I love what you do. And But I thought that was so funny right away when you mentioned that. You could have mentioned any email in the world, but that's really what's on my heart. If someone said, what's on your heart right now? It's like, our country needs this music, not because it's my music, but because it's God's music. Our country needs this music because our country needs to take a deep breath and we need to relax and we have to learn how to love each other again. Yep. And and it's the most difficult thing in the world to love somebody that's polarized from your political point of view, but we have to, I mean, we're all Americans. We've got to find a way how to love each other again. And, and there's, and, and it's funny that, that what's been removed is the very essence of what love is in our country. And now there's a chance that we'll return to that place again. Um, Boy, and really then we'll is. be able to, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. And, and we need this, you know, we need that so badly. And um, wow. Yeah. It's so funny sometimes, Doug, you know, cause I travel and, you know, I, it's, it's a potpourri, you know, I don't get to, um, like, like Mr. Ben King, I love that. He said, I'm so blessed that, you know, most of my clients are Christians. Well, most of the people that when I'm out, you know, doing what I do, most of the people aren't, I mean, in the businesses and stuff. I mean, sure. Obviously if I go to a conference, all the Christians are going to find out they're going to come hang out with me. But the bottom line is when I go to these conferences that are business conferences, sometimes I'm the only one. Wow. And, um, it was really funny the other night, um, I was at this, I was at this meeting, you know, and it was a bunch of really high level marketing people and quick bank folk and all these people, you know, that are, I mean, they're well-known folk. And it's amazing that in their hearts, they're great people, but they look at other people as a confirmation number on an invoice. Uh. And they don't know what to do with somebody that doesn't see life that way. And, and I had one of those moments where I was speaking and just like we were talking about a minute ago and all of a sudden, you know, and, and knowing that these people don't, you know, they don't, they're not crazy about the fact I'm a Christian, they're not crazy about the fact that I voted for Donald Trump as president. They're not crazy about any of that, but, but they couldn't help but be crazy about me. And what I'm saying to you is that we're not talking about introducing our world to a cardboard cutout of Jesus that can't hold or love. What we're talking about is introducing people to someone that you can't help but love if you ever really ever meet him. It's impossible not to fall in love with Christ if you ever really get to meet the real Jesus. I was talking to this famous musician the other night, and I can't mention his name. <laughs> um, but 
you know him. Okay. And uh, he recently gave his life to Jesus. And the one thing he said, man, he said, I can't believe how many years I was messing around with church Jesus until I came to love the real Jesus. And I thought, church Jesus, that's pretty good. Because he, he said that, you know, he went to church as a kid. His parents made him go to church. He goes, yeah, I knew church Jesus. He goes, but now I know the real Jesus. And I think that's what our world needs more than music and everything else, man. They need the real Jesus. Amen. They need love. Yes. Yeah. And, and there it is. Michael Terrell, you've taken us to the end of the program. I can't believe this. Hour, is it really? Yeah. This, this went by so fast. I mean, well, we've, we've got, actually, I'll tell you what, we've got, uh, let me see. Let me do uh, two minutes left, roughly. Um, so you've got the floor, two minutes. Anything you want to say? It's, it's, uh, it's yours. Wow, you guys are too much. Well, obviously, I want people to visit. Uh, what is our one tonight? Whole Tones Live? Is that it? WholeTonesLive.com. That's correct. Yeah, and I want them to read the testimonies and listen to the samples and stuff, too, and see if it's something for them, obviously. But um, could, could I take my minute and a half and just pray for our country real quick? Would that, be? Oh, that, that would be wonderful. Okay. Well, Lord, first of all, I just want to thank you once again for Doug and for Joe. And for most of them, most of all, their love for you, which is obvious. And I ask that you'd bless everything their hands touch and that you take their voices everywhere that it needs to go. And I'm humbled, and I thank you, Lord, for the beautiful people that listen to this show. And I ask, God, that you would continuously uh, bless this beautiful, wonderful country that we're, we're able to live in tonight. You bless our administration, our president, keep him safe. Thank you for your blood that covers him. Ask you, God, to do supernatural, wonderful things in this country of ours. And uh, I pray that you become famous here again, and that the noise of the people would noise your name abroad. I ask you, God, that you would continuously uh, hold us up here, continuously give me bright ideas and witty ideas in the night watch, and keep me out of the way so we can continue to make things that help your people. We love you and thank you for all things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh, it has been such a pleasure, Michael. Thank you so very much. And the, our, our, we just wish you the best. And, and certainly um, give Gabriella a, a hug. Um, oh. Well, that happens That happens on Friday. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Can't fantastic. Wait. It, it, thank, thanks, for, thanks for everything you have done. Thanks for what you've oh, created and put together. And, and thanks for sharing it with us tonight, because this is exactly what we need. And um, again, we, wow. uh, we we can talk about problems all day long, but solutions. This to me is a solution, and thank you, thank you. Well, I want to do. I want to make things that work. And next time, I promise, I'll have the video on. Okay, <laughs> all, right. all right. Looking forward to it.